Remember, chicks don't want romance and flowers unless you are the boyfriend. They want casual. Their dream scenario is to not cringe when you guys are making out. Like in the movies when they make out and laugh. That's how I hook up. There's literally oh, 9,000 of my hookups has been her laughing, me laughing as we're undressing. It's exactly what you got to do. You guys do the opposite. You try and make it intimate. Don't do that. Arson donated $5. That's desperate. I usually watch Django Unchained with Jamie Foxx and tell her she's my slave. Yo, and things me too. Are kinky, I end up calling her the hard R as I doggy her. Okay, that's a little far, bro. No. No, don't, don't it's a hard R in front of girls. They like Okay. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. No, mid-movie, just get up and say, literally say this to her, let's go. Where? Get in your car, drive, get some McDonald's, go back. That's the full experience, bro. That, that way she goes, whoa, he didn't try and lock me up and bang me. Give the bitch fresh air. Just keep lowering anxiety so you can pipe. Because either way you're going to pipe, but you're going to pipe in a zero, there's no tenseness, you know? Yeah. Because if she cringed when she piped you even once, you're going to get blocked, bro. No, downplay, right? Don't say you have a big dick. Even if you do, downplay it. Always downplay. Don't say she's going to enjoy it, ever. Or say you're going to hate this kind of piping. Downplay, 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 downplay. No expectations. Yes. Yeah, never leave her on her phone. I don't know, do the guys, you guys who leave the girl on her phone, if she, she's at your crib and on her phone, you suck. I've never even have to tell them, bro. Yeah, do, you know how many times I text a girl, like, she'd be like, you want to meet up again? I'd be like, bro, you're on your phone. You're boring as f like you, you When you're on your phone, you remind me I have work tomorrow. It's like... I don't want to be around. I want to play. I want to go out with my boys. You're like reminding me of negative shit, bro. Like, I don't feel like no human wants to stay on their phone. Uh, no, if she has a hot sister, you say no comment right in front of her face. She goes, this is my sister. You go, yo, no comment. There's so many times where she's like, this is my sister. I'm like, you're better. And then she would laugh because she knows she's not better. Yeah. And like stay away from you know how many sisters I bang? I ruined families, bro. That's the one you know, I'm not a rat. I don't take guys' girlfriends, but the one ratty thing I do is ruin families. Like the I if the sister's hotter, I always, always get it, or four months later she'll DM me and then I get it. Like it is wild at Thanksgiving. Yeah. It's usually like an and mean sister, they're not, they're not even getting along. It's so evil. Repent. I'm not even joking about this one. The worst thing I did is ruin a 20 year friendship with two girls. It was like, because uh, the one that I was making out with started being playing hard to get. So I lit, as soon as she went to bed, it was like a Halloween party, sleepover with the friends. When she went to bed, sitting right next to me is her friend. I smashed the out the friend and uh yeah, it was the first time as an adult i cried for a woman because i went home and i just started crying i felt so bad for her and then uh, she found out months later it was brutal bro and then she still took me back it was so sad yeah she took me back when she had a boyfriend so she became a demon she took me when she was engaged yeah half black half white something spanish i don't know what she was hot but when she played hard to get and was like, oh, I'm going to bed. I'm like, you don't do that to the bouncer of the city with the f Right? And I remember, because her friend usually just ditches. But when it was just us up, just us two, I looked at her. I'm like, don't be scared. And then she's like trying to prove she's not scared. But usually she gets up and leaves. Like, we've been alone so many times. And then she's just stayed. And I was like pouring drinks like this. And then I handed her the drink. And then myself, as in, you're next. And she's like... Like, I didn't have to talk to her. She knew when I had her the drink. Let's do something stupid. It's evil shit, bro. Jason. How do you convince a shy girl? Shy girls don't exist, bro. They're whores. Shy girls, it just means you're not good. 
There, there's no such thing as shy. Shy are not what you think they are at all. The second the shy one says, Zerka feels like an older brother. They become normal and they open and they go crazy. It doesn't exist. Yeah, demonic. Yeah. Yeah. What do I do if I want a girl that is taken? I just gave that advice in detail. You tell her you're taken, so she starts opening up with you. And then when there's an opening, you can, uh, yeah. 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 Women love to flirt. With Look, man, I'm not going to lie, man. If I want to run perfect game in the nightclub, you know what I would do right now? I would buy a fake wedding ring, walk in, and take every bitch. Literally everything. That's how evil women are. That's, uh, bro, any party I'd go to, any industry, any place I worked at, any Twitch, YouTube, whatever, step one, get a girlfriend. Step two, tell everyone she's yours. And step three, let your girlfriend up and act like a And all her friends will DM me. That's how it works. Men who hide their girlfriends don't get as much. They think they're doing something, they're not. Bitches will take you when you're taken immediately they see you as rare spizzin donated five dollars best way to work on your mouthpiece with females Ex uh talk slow and um only channel your sister so i don't have a sister but i know what uh, i know what she'd be like i think so i channel the sister when i look at her which is literally the coldest thing you could do to a chick because sister means even if she don't like you before she rejects you she needs to arouse you to feel special she's used to arousing everyone if you're cold with her she's gonna beg beg god to get a reaction out of you and only reward the behavior if she's getting physical right like i will never look stare at my bitch you know how people sit i'll look at my phone I look bored when she's talking. I'll be like this. <sighs> and then she gets closer and tries to get flirty. Not because she likes me. She probably wants to block me. She wants to do it because she needs a compliment from me before she blocks me. And she won't get it until it's physical. And when it's physical, she's invested into you. So she won't block you. Because she'll feel like a hoarder herself. You know what I mean? Does that even make sense what I said? Someone break that down. Like a cookie. Here's her compliment, huh? You want a compliment? Right? Like if she accidentally puts her hand on my lap, I, I grab my hand and I hold her hand. And if she struggles, I'm cold like this. And then she pokes my lap again and I grab it. And this time she's not struggling. And now I'm like, what's up, what's up, what's up? And I'm so much closer because I'm literally only going to talk to you if you give me what I want. I know what you're trying to do. I know you're going to take my money. I'm poor. I'm I'm crazy. So I'll only reward it if she's escalating. And I, tell, tell, I literally tell them to their face, you got to kiss me. I'm not kissing you. And then they'll be like, why? What are you, not a man? I'll be like, no, no, it's hotter. I'm used to it. What do you mean you're used to it, John? I'm just lying. I'm not used to it. Chicks don't make first moves, but I'm lying. I'm like, yeah, I'm used to it. Like, you got to kiss me, right? And I always make it innocent, right? Like this. I'd be like, you got to be like, never make it sexual. Make it so goofy that she feels like ugly Betty talking to you, all right? The more you, bro, I'm telling you this, man, as insecure as it sounds to libs, they want to be knocked off that pedestal. They love to be not girls love to be. Now, once you get good, you'll be telling them to go home. Like, you don't have makeup on. We're in public home. Once you get good, you can say anything. And they'll be like, ah. and I, I used to say this with zits on my face. Like these, I always wondered why when I'm uh, running game on a chick, she doesn't turn the table. Like, if I say, go put some makeup on, she could easily say, Zerka, you have pimples, but they never do it because the psyche is male doesn't have to be pretty. A woman, it's all about her, 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 right? It's like bodybuilder chicks. If you go, yo, you got to work on your delts. She could easily say to me, Zerka, you're a fat ass nigga, but she won't. She'll be like, well, I, I've been doing my side laterals and 
uh, and then they try and bang me. And I'm like, bro, you're literally ripped and you're falling for that. Like in my head, I don't tell them, but because um, you're, their nature is to be insecure. They have to be the prize, like physical prize, right? Uh, yeah, don't be a man whore, but like learn to stop spending money on chicks that are not going to stick around. There's nothing dirtier. There's no dirtier feeling than that, bro. If you're like losing money, okay? Now, when I see a girl, all I see is dollars. Her face looks like dollar signs and network. Like she's going to bring me people. She's going to like, one time she introduced me to like some modeling agency who was doing TV and movies and that kind of stuff. That's the direction I want to go. That's how I got Dwayne Johnson body double. Not stunt double, body double. Like that's, I needed to go that way. Does that make sense? Or should I stop the stream? No, Freud taught me about death anxiety. Like, Let's go, pal. I'm making a withdrawal here. RP underscore crusader underscore five donated eight dollars and eighty eight cents. We still doing exorcism stream later? Yeah, yeah. Do you guys want a longer stream? I'm spizzing. I'll tell you this, guys. This whoever posts this on YouTube is gonna go viral. Because I withhold information from you guys because I think it's dangerous to be a manipulator. But I don't want you guys to go the rest of your lives not realizing why that ugly drug dealer in your hometown gets all the girls. It's not because because some of them don't even do drugs, right? It's, it's because he's roller coastering it. That's how DJ Khaled gets chicks. He roller coasters them, right? Whoa, we're having fun and now we're two years of boredom. But the fun is to peak bond, right? You should, uh, and remember, ladies, if there's ladies in chat, if a guy peaks you and excites you, that he's devilish. If you meet a dude who's peaking you this hard, he's so out to get you. He's going to your mind. He's so dangerous for you. Trust me, no husband has ever done this. This is dirty players. You got to be a sorcerer to master this. No, the number one message I get from people is, Zerka, I forget everything you say until I'm on a date. And then I hear your voice and it's easier. I'm like, yeah, good. Another thing, if you're killing it, getting chicks, do not buy my program. See how many you can pick up with that mindset because it's either wins or losses. A lot of you guys put in too much in your head. And remember, those who's the best in any sport? People who go back to the basics. So if you're winning, don't buy my program, okay? Yeah, I think the greatest advice I'll ever give, watch my dating advice before your date. Because she'll do and say things that will remind you of me being funny about talking about women, and you'll be like, oh shit. Oh yeah, Zerka talked about this. And remember, Zerka is one in three billion men because there's no... A bouncer's 40 years old. There's no bouncer who works five years, seven nights a week for five years. There's no human has this much experience with women. It's, you know how much of a loser you got to be at, at a young age? If I did it at 40, it would be different because I'd have been molded by then. But I was like very impressionable. Yeah. And guys, remember, okay, when you watch Jack Doherty's girls not give a fuck about any man in that house, but they're magnetic to me, you're seeing the level of toxic masculinity and how much it, how, how magnetic it is. It has nothing to do with anything else. You know what I mean? Like, I'm so tired of think, people thinking it's other, oh, it's because you're tall, it's because you're, the toxic is, bro, Slicker was banging the hottest chicks on Twitch. I didn't teach him anything. He's just Arab, so he knows what I'm saying. Check this out. Here's why women are losers. My dude. They all want YouTuber boyfriends. Because they grew up watching YouTube. I grew up watching YouTube. I didn't want Sniper Wolf. I was like, I'll get something on my level. Like, they all think they're going to get that. They're, they think they're, David Dobrik's going to be 
Ladies, if you're 23 and single, what makes you think at 27 you're going to get it together? Like, it's a clock. For you guys, it's a clock. Then stop traumatizing all women. They traumatized me because at the club, they used to grab my nuts without my consent. So they started it. I'm just shooting my web on them. So horny. You can just feel it. Now, don't be nice to women. I mean, go. how's that working for you? You know why you should never be nice to a woman? Because there's nothing arousing about nice. Look at what look what arouses them. Uh, 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 uh. That's in their in their self. Do you get it? Like if that's what they that's the peak of their fun is someone doing that to them? That doesn't look like a that looks like a genocide. That doesn't look like a nice guy. That's why they go for the bad boys because it reminds them of that. It's so obvious, bro. It's like they're monkeys. You know how awkward it was when I was trying to be the bad boy as a gaming nerd? The first week was brutal, bro. You have no idea how long it took, bro. It was like, yeah. And then I opened a door I can't close. Now, my first thought is punching them in the nose. Right? You're like, what would you, because it's the voice that pissed me off. If you, look at this. I watch all my, who watches their YouTube videos sped up? When the girl is talking on a podcast, try and put it on normal speed and listen to her. Brutal. It's, let me show you. It's the last secret of the year. You ruined our generation. Yeah, I repent for that. That's like my ongoing repent. Like I deleted so much stuff off my phone. You know how many nudes of people I don't even remember are on my phone? I'd be like, damn, my girlfriend was so hot. That's not even my girlfriend. It was just some girl I met. Like I started mixing them up. <sighs> there's not there's no worse feeling than dating a girl and then going through your old photos looking for something and you accidentally stumble on a girl who is who's hotter than your girlfriend <laughs> that's why you got to delete them bro because i never remember the chicks have pipe it's like uh, i repent i blur it out i'm weird like that i've always done that so but if i have a photo it flashes back I still remember my first experience with the, my first or my first girl that I liked and dated. She said to me, traumatized me, bro. She said, so you, so what? We just going to stay in this hotel with your broken dick? And because she was so insecure that I don't want her. Because I was like 21, I was having issues. And uh, I was like, man, shut up. And then I would like, she went to bed, you know, all happy cuddling. And we didn't do it. And I'd be up like this. I'd be up like this. I'd be up all night like this. Luke donated five dollars. Your women are the greatest losers the history has ever seen. When you talk about the modern day woman, is the highest level of losing. Uh, when should I cry in front of my girl? Whoa, never, never, bro. Because remember, her only thought is death anxiety. And so if death is going to come to the doorstep and raise her anxiety, right? That fantasy of anxiety, for no reason they have it. Uh, well, because they're weaker, that's why. Uh, they're never going to feel safe with, like, your her bodyguard and you're crying. You know? Especially under pressure, you shouldn't cry. Uh, yeah. Even when I didn't know shit about getting women, I wouldn't cry in front of them. Because I just never trusted them. I was like, eh, you grew up with the TV. You're like a Britney Spears type. Because 80% of the marketing in on earth is catered towards women because they get brainwashed. Like we can watch Gillette commercials and we don't go buy a Gillette right away. But these bitches, oh, God forbid a Jehovah's Witness knocks on your girl's door because she's going to actually turn into Lucifer. 
Like they women can be sold on anything. Especially if a guy triggers off trauma. Like if he if he connect if a guy bitch. connects a woman's trauma whole to something he's selling, he can he can what swipe your credit card because she's holding your credit card. She can he can swipe the shit out of that thing. And so women buy such useless shit, right? And it's because they're they're like beavers, they build nests, right? Men see money as their power level. If you have a million, you're a super saiyan. If you have two million, super saiyan two, and it's your status. So you're confident, girls like you, they're like, he's a super saiyan. But women see money as Ikea furniture and vacations. That's why OnlyFans girls are so poor. They spend it on stupid shit. And people are like, how can you spend that much? They do. If you give a woman a million, she'll spend half of it in the first six months easily. Easily. And that money will never make her new money. She'll never invest. Women have never invested since the dawn of time. How to get her to open up about trauma. That's black magic. I don't I don't think you should do that. Like that's evil. Yeah. Well, they I I'll I'll say how evil people do it. Um let's say she was like this is what, yeah, I don't know if I should say this one. You know how I made a fantasy girlfriend? And Stacy now talks to me. The Stacy we talked about at work. So I will, now she knows about my fantasy girlfriend. It's been months talking to her, or weeks talking to her. Maybe a month. If you're that evil, don't do it. God will punish you. But this is how evil people do it. Is um, Now, I haven't done this. This is way pathetic. Shit. Like, I haven't done it to this degree. But if you're talking to her about serious shit, and that made-up girlfriend you made up in your head, if you say, yeah, no, she acts, I think she's bipolar. She got like, yeah, I think something happened to her. Like, she got at a young age, and I feel so bad for her. And, now Stacy will open up about her milk because she sees that you're caring and not judging about what happened to her. This is evil, by the way, because it's you're going off. Of, it's so evil to do that, but that's how all those players at nightclubs talk. That's they literally just incept an idea, and the idea mirrors in her head, and she leaks hers. Yeah, and it incepts the idea that you'll still stay with her if she got. Milk what she should right but like in in her past but it's it looks like you're uh how you say understanding right so don't do that but man i've been watching players for five years in nightclubs i know all their tactics every single one of them i used half of them but a lot of that was short-term game shit like that yeah yeah, yeah. No, no, no. yeah, no, I think the best game is never complimenting your girlfriend. So when you do, out of the blue, scarcity builds value. So it's going to hit her hard when you compliment her. But it's also like you're, it's evil because you, you're like biting your tongue for a month. That's a little long. Yeah. No, you can talk to, bro, I used to talk about women in front of them because I know they all watch murder mystery shit before they go to bed. I, no man does that. But this, you can literally talk to them about anything if you're their crush. Like women calm down watching mystery files on HBO. It's weird because they have like obsession with danger that they confuse as power. Armando donated $5. <sighs> Quick tip a girl tried playing hard to get with me, so I flaked on the date and told her I had something important come up. She said no guy has ever done that, next day my dick in her mouth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and to solidify that, go to bed when she's sleeping. So she wakes up alone, she goes, is it a dream? Was Zerka actually here? Yeah, I used to be so afraid when I ditched them when they're sleeping, because what if she blocks me, what if she gets angry? But... Never once happened. Even when they wanted to leave me, they needed to see me one more time and then they'd ruin shit with me. You know, it always secured another day. 
Zerkotity donated $5. Best most evil way to c**t in bed. Best way to lay the pipe down to where she will never leave. Spit please. Yeah, it's not mechanical, it's mental. It's like what you're saying, it's not really what you're doing. Like, remember, a woman who gets banged by a porn star guy? She blocks him still. So it doesn't matter. Right? It's all, it's like a psychic game you're playing with her. Uh, yeah. All you're doing is painting images in her head of a future and um, in a playful way. Yeah. Not too serious. Never, ever, ever talk about um what you are with her are we boyfriend and girlfriend she has to bring that topic up right and always encourage her when she's a little jealous encourage her say jealous is good keep spamming jealous is good she'll show you her true nature and that's how they get clingy even if they're not like encourage her linking to you like this right but the one thing you shouldn't do that that guy donated is he said she was playing hard to get, so I ditched her. A lot of guys lose them forever when they do that. So I don't recommend that. You can tell her, hey, you, playing hard to get is easy to lose, Stacy. You're going to lose me. Literally tell her to her face and be like, I know you're laughing, but I'm serious. Okay? It's like a joke, but it's true. Encourage her and, and, and even nuke her, bro. Be like, no, that's not feminine. Every girl wants to be called feminine, even if you change the definition, right? She she wants to fit your definition of feminine, and yours is you want clingy and you want her passwords. Here's some evil evil game. If she's a rebellious, if she's a rebellious, I, I'm makeup. Look at this. I'm just having. I'm. Glowing. Yo, check this out. This is evil game. Don't do this, yo, chat. Okay. If she's a rebellious, you can get her mom to dislike you, and she fucks you more. Like if it's a bad girl. Don't do that, obviously. But like, yeah. Because every girl's parents. I, that knew me, loved me, except one. And uh, I'm telling you, man, don't do it. <clears throat> yeah, no, if, I, if she's a rebellious girl, say, tell her your dad was soft. Your dad's weak. And she'll like you more. Because she'll be like, oh, you're going to correct. You're the new dad. Anyway, you're going to correct her beta male father. Try not to leave her. Okay, uh, should we switch? Yeah, okay. I do these streams once a year. We're not doing this again. Uh, yeah, I've never seen someone who trauma bonded that didn't get God punishing them. Don't do that. Okay? And don't fall for her trauma bond. Zerka underscores underscore spizzin donated $5. Does your game work over text? Talking abrasive as you over text has backfired hard for me. Yeah. I can't seem to understand where the girl's limit is, but you seem to know naturally without the girl getting offended. Yeah, because I, I teach never text them. I only do phone calls. It's sales, bro. It's cold calls. Hey, you text someone, do you want to come to my gym for a membership? They never come. But you're on a phone call, you can sense. Oh, they're in a playful mood? Go nuts. Oh, they're in a sad mood? Call some other time. Right? If they're in a sad mood, make her laugh and I gotta go, I gotta go as she's laughing and turn it off. So you sparked her world and she's like always oh, gonna answer the next call. But if you text a girl, you if you text her on her period, if you text her when she's insecure, if if a guy said you look like a fat pumpkin to her, and then you say, Hey, what's up, pumpkin? She will link that text message to the guy who made her insecure. She'll be turned off and won't want you. Do you get it? That's why you have to hear her call like understand the tone texting you know I'm, every girl i've ever lost was texting i gave that shit i the first thing i did on the sneako stream is i said i never text because i haven't done that since high school let's read yeah and also when you tease and neg the girl she's still supposed to feel sexy like every 
the influencer who stays around me starts copying me and it's cringe because he's turning her off. When you insult her, it's got to be something that's Pixar, right? Like you, just, you say like, bitch, you look like, you, you look at your dry skin. You look like the dinosaur from uh, Toy Story. And she starts laughing. But if you say you have dry skin, there's no imagery there. That's just turned off. Like she don't want to bang. They got to, they're going to be reserved. They're not going to take their bra off. So stay to play all the whole time. That's why you got to use emojis. No, if you're a short nigga, don't use emojis. If you're a big, scary dude, use emojis. It's that simple. No, short dudes, you guys got to stop smiling in public when you're with her. Like, you guys got to have a lot less fun than a big black nigga like me. Right? I got to be like, haha, like water. You have to be like stone. Because she's not safe with you, bro. Like a short guy, the only thing he should remember is to never answer on her rhythm. Where are we going? I'm going to the wings. That's it. You can slow her anxiety down to zero. Because this is what they do to short dudes. Like, where are we going? Why do you want to go there? Why this? Why that? And they're seeing if you're like weak. If, if you can like spark them. Right? Is FaceTime gay? Um, 99% of the time on FaceTime, if it's stupid, stupid casual, it's bad. Three hours on call with her is bad. No, 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 no. FaceTime got to be 10, 30 minutes at the most, and it she can't be doing something else. So a lot of you guys call a girl when she's like cleaning or doing something else. Dude, if she's doing something else on FaceTime, you are friend zoned. This is what FaceTime looks like with, with her crush. She just stares. She just like, doesn't know what to do. If she's doing a million things, if you guys are gaming together and stuff, it's bad. It's friend zone. It's not good. Okay? FaceTime got to be like a short ride. Yeah, if she's doing her makeup, you're friend zoned hard. Dude, if she's barefaced on a FaceTime call with you, you're the ugliest nigga on earth. That is horrific, right? If you're her crush, she'll turn the camera off. She'll be like, wait, I'm not ready. Let me see, let me see that ugly face. Let me see your, let me see, I've never seen you without your mask. What do you got to hide? That's how you talk to them, right? Dig, dig into her. Mm, talk about hot and cold. No, you just watch me to pick up girls on YouTube. That's perfect. Just copy that. Hot and cold is you go hot. She don't like it. Simmer down. You go hot and she's giggling. Go hotter, hotter, hotter. And then cold like you're bored of her. Okay. That's so simple. You just go off her. Bing, 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 bing. Mm. Is, is is she hot, that girl in chat? Your advice is for whores. No, I picked up 10 virgins on Monkey. Just YouTube Zerka versus virgin. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, be cheap with a girl. After you've roller coastered, f had fun with her, you have to be, you have to remind her of her dad who's saving money because he's responsible and he has kids. Yeah, they like cheap niggas when they're boyfriends. They don't like cheap when they just meet you, though. No, no, it's always teasing, bro. If, don't let her eat a carrot off her plate. Don't let her eat a carrot. Be like, hey, wait, 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 wait. Okay, give us some laughs now. Yeah, when she's laughing hard, break touch barrier. Only when she laughs and poke. It, people laugh harder when you poke their stomach. But don't poke like those creeps who enjoy the poke. Bing! Just go quick, like you're a little child. 
Because a lot of you guys like hold your finger and like in our belly button and that's. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Club is too loud to talk to girls. True. I can't hear them. I say something good. They don't hear me. Trap card wasted. How do I make it work at the bar or club when it's loud? Uh, when I ask for a number, I just text it and hand her the phone like this. Legit, I'm not gonna, huh, what did you say? I don't do that. If we've had fun and now we're getting drinks and I can't hear her, I was like, put your phone. And I look away as in like, you better do it, I'm royalty. I am. Look, I'm Zerka now. It worked. All that game worked. They brought me here. Don't ever smile when you're getting the number. Like a f every time you guys give your number, you go like this. It's creeping her out. Her boyfriend don't look at her like that. You have to be her boyfriend in her head. Her boyfriend's like this. If she if he hands the Uber Eats to her, he's all mad. And that's you. You gotta be casual, man. No, it's really simple. Bro, if you do this to a girl, like you want to tell her something in her ear, you do this. If she don't come close, don't go to her. Everyone leans in. No, no. Her anxiety's high. Don't do it. Don't do it. Literally wait. Wait till she comes here. Right? Or this is what I do. I go, come here. And then they lean like two centimeters. And I go like this. And she goes, what? And I go... And I'm not even saying anything in the club. Like, I don't even know what the f I'm saying. But I know she's going to be like, oh, his face is so casual. He's not going to hurt me. He's treating me like a little sister. Like, I'm making fun of someone. Not, not that much, but. And then she goes, like, really close. And then I go, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't, it doesn't matter. Because when she leans in close, boom, you have trust now. You're in the game. Christ is king. No, when you talk to a girl at a club and you don't care if she hears it or not, they lean in because they feel like you're not invested in talking to them. Like you're treating them like one of the boys. You know? That's run max casual. That's the older brother zone. Older brother zone is the first two weeks you could do anything. Do anything. This is, oh, what, dating advice? Yeah, hit me with your dating question because uh, I, I answer them on our private server. Go to thezircofficial.com if you want the unwatered down truth. But I'll answer dating questions before we start this stream. Yeah. Get this caffeine out of me. Date IQ call has to be like tomorrow or tonight. Tomorrow, tomorrow, because Hex needs to sleep. How to deal with bipolar? Don't. Because if you, if you see it as spirit world, that's demons. You're dating demons. Right? You want to date a girl with baby demons on her. Not something that's grown 20 years along her side that's going to... Because remember, bipolar means you might go to jail for 5, 10 years. Off a lie. I have a lot of experience with bipolar because they look like me. They sound like me. I'm not bipolar, but I have the symptoms, right? <sighs> no, I, this is going to sound crazy, but you need to date a boring girl. A boring girl is the girl that your buddies respect when you bring her to a party. You cannot date spicy. I'm telling you, uh, if you're dating spicy, you have an issue with the anima. Like animas, all experiences with women put into one. Since you're a baby, it's put into one angelic being in your psyche. And it's a monster. Like, I grew up thinking women are supposed to be because of Bulma. And I was really into Bulma. And I said, I need to become Vegeta because I'm soft. But uh, look at me. I just dated Bulma. And, and I mean, it's fun. Everyone likes to argue with, if they're in my chat. But how much business and how much business have I lost because of that? Guys, you got to remember, man. Business is what you're busy with. So if a girl gives you a five-minute argument that pisses you off for two hours, you lost $2 million. So that two hours doesn't go away. It follows you for two weeks, you think about what she said, in different ways. That's a lot of money-making energy you missed out on. Like, And if, if someone showed you the stats, you would be traumatized at how much money you lost. 
right? Or imagine you're in a business meeting and you don't impress. You don't impress the people who are going to move you up because she just, you don't even remember, but you're just negative. And they pick up on the negativity and they go, it's not an optimist. I don't want to work with this Zerka guy. Someone said, should I DM my ex? No, dude, guys, remember, I always say people who DM their exes are alcoholics because you're putting a poison back into your life for fun. That's like what I do, right? You should understand how unhealthy that is. That's like, you know it's poison and you're still doing it. Because you got to remember, dude, if, if a woman is your ex-girlfriend, you know what it really means? It's her fault. No matter what you did, the relationship failed because of her. Because women date up, meaning they're dating someone they think is better than them. They're not dating McDonald's workers like us. We'll date anything that's pretty. Women date up, meaning at a breakup, who's the loser during a breakup? The person who lost someone who's better than them, which is the woman. So every breakup and divorce in history is the woman woman's fault and she's the loser okay now if women dated equal like equality say oh he makes the same money as me he's saying if women dated equal then it's different right what about a girl with daddy issues well that's all of them because dads grew up with the television so they're not dads you know and it's really sad. You see a strict Muslim family, they lose their daughter because she becomes a whore. Strict Christian family, daughter always becomes a whore. So I blame the dad, but how's the dad fighting mainstream media? Like people are like, dude, Zirka, when I get messages like, you'd be such a good father. No, I wouldn't. My girl would be a whore. You think she's going to be on TikTok for... She TikTok, Instagram, high school. You think I'm fighting the external world with the values I instilled in her when she's tempted to sin, just like the regular human at uh, the highest capacity at that teenage age. Dude, trust me. It's sad what parents go through. And you know why you should listen to your parents? Because it's not about knowledge. Everything you, even if you're smarter than your parents, you should listen to them because ex experience trumps knowledge. That's why we go by the Bible. Luke donated $5. Women will date equal when you have the right energy though. As you said yourself you was picking up models working construction. Red Pill never tells this truth. Uh, yeah, but I'm one man out of uh, three billion. No one can do that. And what was I doing? Was, was it, were they dating me out of their, were they volunteering? No, it required high levels of manipulation. You get what I'm saying? And remember, do they stay with me if I'm a construction worker? Well, they don't cheat, but they certainly argue, which makes me cheat, which makes them, you know what I mean? So, yeah, you don't need arguments, bro. That's why you need to get your life in order. When are you releasing sex IQ? Well, I don't think a lot of people have mechanical issues because you guys want it so bad you will not, you will stay hard and shit. But the biggest issue with the modern world is that you need to talk to her. I remember when Kev Kevin Samuels, rest in peace, said most men lose their women because they don't dirty talk them. I knew he was right when he said it, but I didn't make a big deal of it because I'm like, yeah, everyone agrees. The whole chat got confused, 10,000 of his viewers. And that's when I was like, wait, what? And then I remembered all the girls that told me like, because I'm known for roasting people. So if I'm roasting her as I'm fingering her, it's a big deal to her. I thought all guys do that. Because remember, bro, they, I'm telling you, man, like, you should master, uh, master, uh, talking to a bitch before mechanically piping. If you get her off mechanically, you're just a guy she'll forget. But if you get her off mentally, and I always say, this is black magic, what I'm going to say next. So be careful here. When they're about to nut, uh, 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 uh. You can program them right there because it's Eight an Carlos ego. Underscore Rod donated five dollars. Huh? You still do oral head over sex when you bang, so no spicy chicks boring mid chicks from now.
Well, I'm so afraid of like getting someone pregnant because I've had so many like girls try that I get head. But if you're my GF, I never, ever bang the throat. I feel like I want to respect you. Shit, it's weird. Like I switch out. Like I don't even have the want for it. Right? Isn't that weird? And my last one would yank me into like Vegas uh, bathrooms to give me head. I'd be like, no, no, no. I'd just push them off. And because it's kind of like you're. Kind of, I don't know, it's, I get very different. I get very weird. I know, isn't that weird? Here, here's the truth, dude, okay? The most you can program... Oh, man, this should be a course in itself, but I have way more advice on my... I have so many notes here. The more... When she's about to come... Uh, 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 stop fingering her. Dude, when I was evil, I, they're about to come, and I'd stop fingering them. I'd be like, no, fuck don't even love me and she'd be like i just met this guy two weeks ago and she'd kind of like giggle and i'd be like no no say it because i knew it's spell casting like it's prayer thought and words you mix that shit up and uh i was like i was trying to program them fast and then when she'd say it i'd start you know yeah i think the greatest manipulation advice i've ever given is just not even manipulation it's slow down sexual escalation. Trip her up, slow her down, mwah, mwah. change the channel, mwah, mwah. slow. Every time you slow her down, she goes faster. And the hard part is that you want to go faster and you always give in. Don't, my nigga. You know how many times I'm making out, I'm getting head and I just light a cigarette and they feel like my dog. Like, they go like this. You're lighting a cigarette? And I'd be like this. Huh. No sound. As in, you're sucking dick. You're a dog. And you know what that's manipulating? The portrait of I'm Napoleon and you're conquered. So you stay aroused. Because they only stay if they're conquered. And it's sad. It's sad. Because in my head, I'm thinking, she's so much better than me. Slow body count, beautiful, da da da. In my head, I'm thinking she was so much better than me. Why are you giving me head? But I'll be like this. Yeah. Spizzin. What else? Give me, give me some topic. I used to watch James Bond and these guys have a cigarette after they pipe. Or I'm telling you, drink your beer when you're getting it. Slow it down. It's got to feel so casual and like you're used to it. Like a million bitches have done this that you don't even want to enjoy it. You want to enjoy a beer. And uh, it was really weird because I was such a good actor. Like I was, I had low body count. I didn't know what I'm doing with chicks. And I was like pretending to be James Bond. And but I took it too far, man. I went off the rails. You know, like yeah, where you, when they're crying and giving you head and you're just like this. Dry your tears. And they're like, and girls always stop crying when you do that because they're used to someone comforting you. And usually she's like giving head because some girl texts me and I responded. So she's giving me head, but she's crying. She's like, why that guy? Let's go, pal. Yeah. I'm making a withdrawal here. Eight Carlos underscore Rod donated $5. So no more spicy girls? Boring mid girls now? Stop the cap. <laughs> I don't talk to anyone. Now check it out. Avoid having a first date one-on-one -on -one with a girl. If you want her, bring a few of your friends and a few girls and bring her to the bar as a group. As a group, you can smash her. If it's one-on-one, -on -one, you might smash in an awkward way where she links cringe to you, which is friction, right? As a group wolf pack, you can smash within an hour of having a few drinks, you know? Because then she's like, we can smash and then we can go back to the bar to our friends and blah, blah, blah. She has to care, bro. No girl cares about you. Stop thinking that. They only care about themselves forever. And even when you have kids with them, then they care about the kids. It's never about you. Ever. That's why they only see you as an icon. You have to stay an icon. And then they go, I benefit off an icon.
but it's all for themselves. Men live for women. Women don't live for men. Women live for themselves and then kids, and usually they choose themselves over the kids. Unless it's a strict dude telling them, yo, get it together. Uh, relationship only lasts a month with you. You can't sustain her. If you can't sustain her, you either lacking status, network, and looks. And I don't mean one. I mean a bit of all. Or you didn't imprint a good memory. Like you only have one chance to make a good impression. So if that's why I say like when I all of my romance goes in the first weeks of meeting her. That's it. You don't even have to tell a girl you got a hotel. Bro, I would buy a hotel because I knew I'm going to win her over by the end of the night. And I would tell her last second. Be like, I'm right up here. But if you tell her on the date, I got a hotel. She goes, slow down, Jack. We were just kidding about that stuff. Right? That's risky because you could lose the money if she don't pipe. But that's good. That I always lined up five girls. I told five girls I want to meet them downtown on Friday. And so if my date doesn't come up to my hotel, the other one goes, John, I thought we are meeting. It's been an hour. And I go, oh, yeah, 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 I'll come to the, I'm right here. So I'll line up all my fish for one day, say yes to all of them. Uh, I won't give them an address, but I will tell them it'll be downtown. They'll get all ready and I'll keep them on standby. So one doesn't come, the other doesn't come, the other, right? Because I don't want to waste money and just stay in a hotel all alone and shit. You know, like all birds in one one night and the most beautiful part about having another girl waiting in case this one don't bang you is she can sense it she goes oh i'm gonna go home now you go good night and she goes oh what the f he's got another bird and you do and then now she wants you more you get to bang the other one but if you say stacy saturday emma friday becky tuesday if you spread it out you're gonna fucking shoot blanks on all no. Best thing you could do, say yes to all and cancel on four. Pick the hardest one. Bang. What do you do once you know our trauma? Well, you could ask girls I dated. Like, I don't probe trauma. I don't think that's healthy. That's like the devil whispering in your ear. 